Here is a view of Bendigo in 1905, home to many of the people in our collection of glass plate negatives from the studio of Vincent Kelly. Unearthed in the 1970s after the Rosenberg family bought the premises, Kelly's archive was donated in 2016. Staff from across the library have been working together to make this rich archive available, preserving, digitising and cataloguing. We librarians have been working from the names inscribed on the glass plates to try and discover something of the people in the portraits. So here is a small parade of what we've discovered so far, some favourite images and some questions too. Vincent Kelly's subjects were often so young it wasn't felt safe to leave them to sit on their own. There are many ghost parents hovering on the edge of the frame as Kelly waited for and captured the moment. The studio teddy bear features regularly, here showing signs of wear and tear. These three appeared in Marjorie in Wonderland, produced at the Princess Theatre in 1916, and we would have loved to have seen these pantomime costumes in colour. These children showing their pleasure and pride in their portrait poses. Festivals were a big part of Bendigo life. Mary Stritch was St Patrick's Queen of the East in 1924. And these girls from a performance, possibly the East Affair. Friendships were celebrated with a portrait. A trio of school friends. And these young women, friends, or maybe sisters. These two formally dressed, before a ball, or maybe a groom and best man. Commemorating a First Holy Communion, a significant event in the life of a young person, was another reason for visiting Kelly's studio. These serious faces in their wedding photographs show us how times have changed for the wedding photographer. We're yet to come across any beaming smiles. There are many portraits from the time of the First World War, enlistees and their loved ones, preparing to depart. And here a soldier and two nurses. and others having returned, bearing honours and unseen scars. We discovered that Vincent Kelly didn't confine himself to just portrait photography, as these images of Bendigo life show. There are ladies who lunch, young men at the Bendigo races, and a wonderful photograph of a young jockey and his horse. Here are rowers on Lake Waruna, and swimmers at the upper reserve swimming baths. Mr Cronk's prize cow and Mr Baker's pigs were also worthy of a photograph. Here's an image of a cupboard in a railway workshop that's likely to impress any railway enthusiast. And we believe this to be Carlo Masola, behind the wheel of his Amilcar racing car. Carlo was an international racing driver who owned several garages in Melbourne and Bendigo. Vincent Kelly really was an exceptional photographer. He had the ability to focus on people, captured their personalities and tell a story. Such was his reputation that families would travel from other regional towns to be photographed by him, like members of the Cramery family who came from Maryborough to sit for this portrait. Others came with more specific requests, like Ivy Moore, a musical performer, who sat for a series of theatrical poses. Or Marjorie Boothby, who had a celebratory photo taken after her win in the annual golf competition. 
In his uniform, here is Victor Prophet, captain coach of the Bendigo South football team. And two of the Kurnow family in evening dresses, ready for Mayor Kurnow's annual ball. Of the many fabulous images that we've seen, we've selected a few favourite ones, just because. A young woman wearing a hand-knitted outfit. Miss Ohoy looking quite serene. And one of the Darvel daughters, who has such an interesting face. There are the young. The old. The dog lovers. And the women who really knew how to wear hats. And then there's little Ruby Eula holding a cricket ball. We've digitised over 1,000 of Vincent Kelly's glass negatives, but still have almost 4,000 to go. We can only wonder as to what treasures we've yet to find.